Hello everybody, welcome back to Ultimate Custom Night. If you read the title, we're doing Easter eggs. So this video is going to be a lot shorter than the other one, so I just had to take two and enjoy. The first one is going to be with uh, Old Man Consequences. So actually, he has to be on one. Actually, we're, we're going to do um, Fred Fred first. Golden Freddy, you put Golden Freddy. I'm pretty sure he can be on. Coin, death coin, which immobilizes anybody, it makes all animatronic, any animatronic, not work anymore. Um, gotta get ten coins. There, I lose. And now, wait for him. Once he shows up, we're gonna click this. My reflexes and just put on the Freddy Mask or something. Watch. Just in the hat. Okay. This one activates a Fred Bear. Fred Bear attacks you. Golden Fred Bear. There you go. See that? That was Fred Bear. Freddy Bear. Now, the second one we're gonna do, and the last one we're gonna do, I mean, yeah, no, the second, but not last, is this one. Actually, no, 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 we're gonna do Mr. Hippo first. So, Mr. Hippo, if you watch my uh, my previous Ultimate oh, Custom My videos, you have seen this one before, I actually encountered this one by accident. But, uh, Mr. Hippo, he tells you a nice story. If you haven't seen the video, I'll, uh, I'll link it right here, you'll be able to see it. Come on, Mr. Hippo. You wanna come over here? There we go. My friend, you have met a terrible, terrible demise. But, uh, you know, I, I don't feel too bad about it. After all, if, if it weren't for me, it would have just been from so, someone yeah. else, you know? I've done this before. I guess what I'm trying to say is life, so, yeah. life goes on. Well, well for, for everyone else, life goes on. Not, not for you. Totally. You're, you're dead. Nice That's neither here nor you. there. It reminds me of to one it. summer day I'll in the park. I was having just a delightful picnic with my good friend Orville, and I said to him, I said, Orville, I, I have a story. And he said to me, What's the significance of the story? And I said to him, Orville, not every story has to have significance, you know. Sometimes, uh, you know, sometimes a story is just a story. If you try to read into every little thing and find meaning in everything anyone says, you'll just drive yourself crazy. I had a friend do it once. It wasn't pretty. We talked about it for years. And not only that, but you'll likely end up believing something you shouldn't believe and Thinking something you shouldn't think, or, or assuming something you shouldn't assume, you know? Sometimes, I said, uh, a story is, is just a story. So just be quiet for one second of your life and eat your sandwich, okay? Of course, it was only then I realized I made sandwiches, and poor Orville was having such difficulty eating it. Elephants have those clumsy hands, you know? Actually, I, I suppose that's the problem. They don't have hands at all, do they? They're, they're all feet. I, I couldn't imagine someone asking me to eat a sandwich with my feet. Now, if I recall correctly, there was a bakery nearby. I said to him, Orville, let me go get you some rye bread. Now, I'm unsure if elephants enjoy rye bread, but I assure you that Orville does. Now, this was on a Tuesday, which was good because rye bread was always fresh on Tuesday. They made sourdough bread on Monday and threw it out Wednesday, or rather they sold it at a discount for people wanting to feed the ducks, and then probably at the end of the day, finally, they threw it all out. I, I don't recall. I do remember a man who would bring his son to the bakery every Wednesday and then go feed the ducks. 
he would buy all of the sourdough bread. Of course, you know, you're not supposed to feed the ducks sourdough bread at all. It swells up in their stomach and then they all die. It, uh, at least, at least that's what I've heard. You know, I, I never saw any ducks die myself, but I did notice a substantial decrease in the duck population over the course of a few years. I just never thought to stop the man and tell him that he was killing the ducks by feeding them sourdough bread. And if you want my opinion on the matter, <laughs> and I told Orville this as well, if you want to feed ducks or birds or any kind for that matter, it's best to buy seed. I mean, when you think about it, breads of any sort don't occur in nature. They don't grow on trees or spring up from the bushes. I don't think birds know what to do with bread. What was I saying? Oh, oh yes, yes. So I bought Orville some rye bread. What a fine day it was. That's it. She tells you a nice little story. So the next one we're gonna do is actually ultimate consequences. So yeah, let's go right in. But the problem with this one is that he crashes your game, which crashes my recording. So I'm actually when it happens I'll show I'll show you guys through it and then I'll end the video there. There is there we go. That was actually really fast for him being on one. Alright, so we do this little, this little thing. Here, and you just throw it over 